we begin with some breaking news. Two-time NBA All-Star and proud Canadian Steve Nash is retiring. Nash made the announcement via Twitter, writing, I'm retiring from basketball. Thanks for all the love through the years. You know, it's, it's painful to go through the same thing every day and wait and wait and hope that the work you're doing, the rehabilitation you're doing is going to come through and you're going to get back out there. But you know, I don't know if I'm going to get better. When you feel so tired but you can't sleep. I feel like there's something like that I can't quite put my finger on that I don't know it feels like it's blocking me or it's like it's, I can see it out the corner of my mind's eye or it's like this kind of dark presence and it's uh, I don't want it to sound mystical but I feel this sense of something you know blocking me or slowing me down or troubling me and I, I've started to wonder if I, that, that feeling I get is like out or that more than that like is it the truth that I am done The 50-40-90 uh, club, you know that one where you have to shoot 50% from the field, 40% from three, and 90% from the free throw line? It's a very exclusive club. Yep. Nash leads the way. He did it four times. The next in the club is Bird with two. This man was a wizard of a passer of the basketball. To me, to my eye, he was the greatest wow passer we've ever seen. Steve Nash was a bona fide, legitimate, quintessential point guard who could really, really shoot the rock. Nash yeah, shoots a three. He got it. Unbelievable. I mean, it's a hot Nash, yeah, he doesn't waste a moment. He's already in the paint. He's already got a play. That quick. Steve Nash. See his stream. It won't stop bleeding. That's a three. What more could we say than congratulations, Steve Nash, 2005-2006, NBA Most Valuable Player. October, you've already been operating under the premise that you are retired, but now to actually put it in print, so to yeah. speak, what are the emotions that it's Yeah, I mean, official? It's weird, you know, like you play this game uh, for so many years, I mean, 18 plus years in the NBA. It's just a weird transition. It was, I mean, every athlete goes through it. You know, a lot of people say that an athlete dies twice. And in some ways, you know, without being salacious, that's, it's true. You know, like if you want to enjoy and be happy the rest of your life, you have to in some ways say goodbye to your former self. And, and that's not easy. But I think just knowing that I'm going to have to deal with this and I'm going to have to accept it and, and find new ways to, you know, challenge myself and enjoy myself. Uh, you know, I think I'll get there. Take us back to October. How did you and the Lakers arrive at the decision that you would sit out the season? I finally, you know, realized it wasn't happening. You know, um, I've been rehabbing and fighting to get back on the court for the majority of 18 months. I was training twice a day. It was like, in some ways, in the best shape of my life. In other ways, you know, over that 18 months, I played so little. I, I just was like so. 
unprepared to kind of wave away flag in respects and even sounds. It even pisses me off to say that right now. Like it makes me want to like go try again. But you know the reality is it's, it wasn't gonna happen. I wanted to do great things in the city, and you know it didn't happen. But a big part of why I came here was because I wanted to be in the fire. I wanted to be judged. I wanted to be under pressure in my last chapter. I didn't want to, you know, fade off. But like a Carl Malone, like a Charles Barkley, you know how it is. You win MVP trophies, but if you don't have championships, people throw that in your face. What is that like just to, to get that question? That's fine. Like, that's fair game. I don't, I don't uh, hide from that. I didn't win a championship. I don't get caught up in legacy or, or where I fit in. And that's never the reason I play the game. I would try to get better, to try to, you know, transform myself into a better player. And if I leave anything behind, I hope it's that I was a great teammate and a great competitor. And you know, if people, if a, if a championship is a huge component in in your success, that's fine. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't affect the way how much I enjoyed my career. You know, I'll always be be disappointed. I never won a championship for sure, uh, but. You know, there's a lot more to life as well.